Hi everybody and welcome to our next video. I wanted to talk today uh, about how we do help reduce volatility in client portfolios, especially during times like this where, where we have just a tremendous amount of up and down in the market, primarily down. And we want to protect against that downside and still have the opportunity to make money when there are rallies. Even in the most vicious bear markets, some of the biggest returns happen during those. So we wanna make sure we're involved in that, but we also wanna limit the downside. One of the ways that we do that is by the use of buffered ETFs. And you may have heard me talk about buffered ETFs. Another uh, term for them is defined outcome exchange traded funds. And what they do is they give us a potential upside and give us protection on the downside. So what I wanted to do today was demonstrate a couple of instances where we would use these in a portfolio and how they work. The first one I want to talk about is uh, one that, that came to be in May. And uh, typically these are held for one year. We don't have to hold them for a year. They can be held for um, six months, four months, whatever. But uh, in this particular instance, what we know in advance is that if we buy this on the day it comes out, we have potential upside of 10.96%. See that? This is our cap. That's how much we can make over the course of a year, 10.96%. Now, the first 5% here is loss that we're on the hook for. So if the market drops 5% over the next year, we'll lose 5%. But then after that, the next 25% of downside is protected, meaning the market could drop another 25% from there and we don't lose any money. Now that sounds pretty good, a nice trade-off. We could lose 5%, we could make almost 11%. That's pretty good. Um, I like it in this particular type of market because the market's already dropped 20%. So the market would have to go down, you know, it'd have to be a down 45% year before we start losing money in this. Um, now, this is where it gets fun though. Let's say we uh, go over here and we purchase it, not at the beginning, but we purchase it right in here where the stock market has uh, already dropped 5%. We'll let somebody else take that 5% loss. It's kind of like buying a, a car, a brand new car, driving down the street and going to trade it in. You're going to take a lot of depreciation. We're going to let somebody else take this depreciation in these investments. That gives us two benefits. Number one, we don't have to take this 5% loss. But number two, we have the same outcome, the same potential outcome as the person that bought it when it first came out minus the 5% potential loss. So if we look at this, we can, we still have a 25% downside protection, but now we get the 5% potential gain here that somebody else took. And you add that to the almost 11%, we can make 16% on this investment and have a 25% downside. So that's our defined outcome that we could get. We already know that, right, when we buy it. We know exactly what could happen, and regardless of the volatility in the stock market, we know what's gonna happen here uh, one way or another. So the other key to this is that keep in mind, this is for a 365-day year. Well, we didn't hold it for 365 days. We held it for, let's say, 300 days. Because of that, our annual return, we still get the same amount that somebody that held it for a year, but we didn't hold it for a year. So that increases our rate of return over time, our annualized rate of return. So this is, they're easy to see on your statement. This type of a setup starts with the letter D and then has the month in, involved. So in this particular case, the symbol for this is D-M-A-Y. So D-M-A-Y, and D stands for deep buffer. That gives us that 25% downside. All right, the next one I wanna talk about is similar, except for we have different parameters. So we still have a defined outcome, 
but this one's different. And you can see this on your statement. It starts with the letter F as in Franklin. And what this does is when we buy it, we have a 10% buffer. So the market would have to drop 10% in over a one year period before we even start losing money. Okay. Now in exchange for only a 10% buffer, we now have a much higher cap. So we have potential to make almost 20 and a half percent. So if the market really rallies, we're going to get that. If it drops 10%, we're not going to lose any money. Again, as we did with the first one, there's a real potential opportunity here. So for example, what if we buy it right around in here instead of at the beginning? We now have bought it in, in June. So there's, there's, let's say in this case, 40 days that we've, uh, we've let somebody else take all this, all this volatility through here. We let somebody else take that, but we still have the same 10% downside protection. We still have the same cap 20 and a half or so, but it's over less than a year period. So if we take a look at that, if we, uh, best case scenario, we make 20 and a half percent. And that was over less than a year, which means our annualized rate of return is more than 20 and a half. Now what this does is this gives us that downside protection. These are especially nice when you have um, a market that's already sold off a tremendous amount. Um, we don't know that it's going to drop another 10%, but it's fairly unlikely. What we're looking for in this case is we're looking for that upside, the tremendous upside, because we don't want to miss out. If the market's bouncing around and all of a sudden something happens, let's say uh, Russia makes up with Ukraine or in the rate of inflation slows, then the market could have a, a substantial rally and we want to take advantage of that. If those things don't happen, we get deeper into a recession then the market could drop further and we do want that downside protection. So I hope this was helpful. There are a lot more little complicated features to these that uh, if, if you are interested in that, just let us know. We'd be happy to talk about it in more detail, get into the nuts and bolts. This is a general introduction to it and hopefully you found it helpful.